Ben Shapiro had an incredibly uh, viral Twitter thread, and let's just dive right into it. Uh, DEI in medicine means that even if doctors injure patients, they might still be protected, even promoted. It also means that top hospitals are abandoning key metrics when hiring surgeons. And it means research by whites may dis be disregarded. Here's what I found. I mean, this is just wild, watch this. Sources tell me Wake Forest Medical School is about to graduate Kaishel Del Rosario, the med student who injured a conservative patient and bragged about it. Wake Forest allowed Rosario to lay low and take a voluntary leave of absence when this scandal broke. I'm also told that UPenn Health has hired Ewan Liu, Del Rosario's classmate, who said it seemed karma karmatic when it when she injured the patient who mocked her pronoun pin. Wake Forest showered Lou with awards and excellence in patient care, and she now focuses on LGBTQ plus health. Both UPenn and Lou's medical school, Wake Forest, have attempted to hide Lou's hiring. Wake Forest uh, didn't list Lou's hospital and graduation materials, and UPenn doesn't list Lou's medical school on its website. Okay, so this is just two instances about kids at medical school, but he continues in the Twitter thread, and here is, a, is an award-winning Duke surgical resident. His name is Vignesh Raman, and here he is in an internal DEI lecture, and you know these things all get leaked now. These Zoom meetings always get leaked. And listen uh, to what he says about patients of his that watch Fox News. You know, the thing is, we are in the South, right? And unlike a lot of the, like, hospitals in the Northeast or in the West, we serve a very Southern population. This is not a VIP hospital. People are not like flying in from Qatar to get treated here. We treat patients who are just from the community in the South. And yes, my heart sinks every time I go into a room and I watch them watching Fox News, or they have a MAGA hat on, or they're wearing a Confederate belt, right? I These are the patients that we treat. But Geraldine, I, I will say that the one very good thing about the South that I enjoy is exactly what I alluded to earlier, is that we don't treat VIPs. We treat people from our community. And our community, as, as Auri explained, is majority non-white. Okay, look, we don't have any evidence that this guy has ever treated someone that had a MAGA hat or watched Fox News or a Confederate belt, which I feel like he's making that one up. We don't have any evidence that he has treated them uh, without the care that he would treat anyone else. But the idea now that this has leaked into our medical establishment is a huge problem, that doctors are looking at people and based on the color of their skin or the hat they are wearing, they're already thinking different things about them. Like this is a huge problem. The number one thing that a doctor is supposed to do, as Dr. Phil pointed out, is do no harm, right? That is the point. But wokeness has infected all of the medical schools, the hospitals, you don't, you just don't want to think about it. You don't want to think, if you had an emergency and you showed up at the emergency room right now, would you want to think, oh, my doctor is that skin color. That means he got in a little bit easier. He's probably not the best. Or, oh, he might be looking at me and I just realized I'm wearing a hat, a hat with an American flag on it. Maybe he's not going to give me the best care, but they have now injected this all into the system. 